Hi, it's Roger here with another episode of Entrepreneur TV. And as you can see here, we have um, many uh, sheets up on the wall because we are planning out our 2016 calendar. So my question to you is, what does your 2016 look like? What do you got planned? How are you planning it? Uh, here you can see that everyone within our, this is our Chris Circle Conference, which we run once a year with all our mentoring clients. We've got about 100 people here at Vision Villas in Bali, sunny day. And as you can see here, everyone's been posting down what they're looking to do, uh, what the key things are that they're actually planning on. So we have everyone actually you know, sharing that as they go here. Uh, here's Jeremy uh, and uh, here's uh, Sophie. Hi guys, Hi. I'm doing a little video here. Uh, okay, what's the biggest thing you are excited about uh, in 2016. Sophie. Sophie's from Sweden, by the way. Yeah, hi. The uh, biggest thing is to grow my business so that I can help um, it become profitable. I'm in performing arts, and thanks to Roger and the, your teachings, uh, we are now taking things to the next level. So I'm That's very excited cool. about that. So you actually won some awards this year in terms of actually building up your brand. Yeah. So what kind of things were you, what was the like, biggest achievement this year? Biggest achievement is we won the Business Excellence Award for uh, performing arts promotion in the UK and also just announced uh, Best Producer of Swedish Culture in the UK. Awesome, yeah. very cool. Thank so you. big year up ahead. Yeah. And Jeremy, what about for you? Uh, Jeremy's from Australia and has an accounting company. As you can see here, this is this is it. Okay, you got all these people here. Yeah. Who are they? Oh, these ones here. Oh, well, that's that's my family because it's all about family. For me. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Okay, and big thing for next year? Uh, it's really all about uh, getting my team into a rhythm of promotions and getting my team into flow. Yeah. All right. So Very cool. Getting them to understand where their best strength is and getting okay. them in the right position. So getting them organized and expecting big growth next year. Yeah. 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 Firstly, consolidating and then really laying a platform for growth. Brilliant. Very cool. All right. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Okay, so this process that we're going through actually allows everyone to get really clear on what they're doing. Uh, here's Rastika and uh, Beryl with Bloom Learning Solutions, all the way from New Zealand. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering who Rastika was supporting last night on the World Cup, <laughs> so she's very happy right now. Yes, very tired, tired and happy. So this process that we're going through to really plan out all of next year ahead of time. Uh, for anyone who hasn't done that yet, who's watching on the video, what would you say about the value of a process like this? Uh, well, we did this process last year and we set some targets that we thought, hmm, that's very, very like massive mm. and we, we, we blitzed them. <laughs> and, blitzed them. <laughs> blitzed them and we, blitzed, we actually brought in the revenue from the previous year, the first yeah. five months of this year. Right. So we like totally believe in this. <laughs> yeah. So setting it up and actually knowing what it is that you want to achieve, getting clear on what the steps are yeah. and then actually realizing you don't have to take 12 months to get to a point you want to get to. No. No, even faster than that. It's right? fantastic. Very so cool. everyone should do it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. And by the way, if you're interested in meeting up with any of the entrepreneurs here, I'll put the links to their um, their websites down below as well. Uh, you can see we're actually going all the way around the corner here. So uh, this actually covers all the way through uh, our corridors. We're pretty much covering everything, even on this side. Hi, girls. <laughs> we're covering also all the way out here. So you can see that everyone's here as well kind of sharing all of the things that they're doing all the way down here. Here is uh, Arpad and Donna. Uh, Arpad actually is all the way from uh, Canada, well, lives in Florida right now. <laughs> hey, Arpad, and here's hey, Donna, hey. who's one of Hi. our uh, coaches, facilitators, and we are doing an Entrepreneur TV video. All right. Um, and uh, what would you say the whole process of planning out and actually putting things in place, uh, because the, I'm asking everyone here to do the same thing, actually yep. set it out and do it. What would you say is like the biggest uh, kind of key tips to really making sure you're doing a good job of actually setting out your coming year? So number one is take time to reflect on what is your identity as a person, as a business mm. and get clear on that before you jump into the action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now by the way, Arpad, oh I, you know, Arpad you weren't even in the picture, yeah. my yeah. hand was all over. <laughs> okay, so uh, Arpad actually works as a CIO of a large company, in a billion dollar business in America and also uh, he has now been what uh, honored twice on the CIO 100 list as well. Yeah. So uh, really going out and actually making a big difference on the corporate side, but using all the same tools that we're talking about here. And Donna, um, you've helped a lot of people putting plans together. Yeah. What would you say? Is, is this your one here right now? Yeah. So oh. everything's in quarter one moving. Don't put everything in quarter one. It's something not to do. So it almost always happens. Your to-do list always goes in one quarter, right? It's like, so we're moving oh, it. I'm free for the rest of the year. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and out of the different things that you've gone through this time, because you've done yeah. this many times before, yeah. what would be one of the biggest distinctions you've had just even over this like last couple of days ago? Um, just taking the time to do it and really simplifying it. So even though it looks busy, it's actually because it's clear client avatars and uh, products and things to focus on and things right. to outsource. So I think the biggest thing is actually just making sure planning one year you've got all of the five energies. All the five energies. So there. so that so what we go through is we go through the why, the big yeah. purpose why. And then that's actually there at the top. We go through the what, which is the products that you've got and and, and what are those products gonna be, the who, which are your the customer avatars, the customer your team, your partners. Yeah. Uh, the when, which clearly is actually planning it out so that there's four seasons in the year. Yeah. And then the how, where we just went all through the systems and processes yeah. as well. And methods. Yeah. And yeah, so you've got the all metrics. of that in there as well. All right, thanks guys. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is just the outside. When we go into the inside, you'll see that everyone here is busy uh, focusing. And by the way, when you do this as a group, here we go, we're all heading in. Uh, if you do this as a group, what is so cool about this is you get to see what other people are doing. So this is, as you can see, the entire, uh, <laughs> the entire uh, uh, glass uh, from all the doors are all covered in here as well, which is, which is pretty cool. And um, we're here with maybe, I would think, maybe 30 different countries that are all here as well. It's a lot noisier here in the inside. But you can see here, we've got like everyone hard at work, busy doing their thing. Uh, okay. Hi hey guys, uh, video, video. <laughs> and uh, what's really powerful about this is that everyone's also been sharing um, their success stories over the year, uh, what's worked, what hasn't worked, uh, what they've learned. And so it's allowed everyone to also say, right, well, what do I want my learning to be this year? What do I want to be uh, having as the main things that I'm developing this year? That all comes into the process as well. Um, here is uh, Andrew Hard at Work. Andrew's got a really cool one here. Hey Andrew, I'm doing a little video here. So this is, look, Andrew's even got the light coming in, so it's kind of got like a backlit luminous one going on here, which is pretty cool. So what would you say out of all the things that you've been putting on here, uh, Andrew has been the most interesting uh, outcome of planning out the year for you? Um, the most important thing for me was to actually get really focused. Right. And, uh, I'm a supporter, so I go after everything. So <laughs> finally, finally, using I guess the, the key point is I've got two key proven proven products. Yeah. Um, that I'm now um, I'm now getting going in the next three months. Right. Okay. So there's something really cool about this is that Andrew this time last year met with Radka, right? So Radka is in the Czech Republic. She has a company called Atiru. Andrew is in Australia, and was saying, well, I'm a supporter profile. I don't need to be the one coming up with the idea. Radka has a really great leadership program that she's now expanding around the world. So Andrew stepped up and is now really launching this in Australia right now. Yeah. Yeah. And so, again, by just knowing you've got someone else who's got the product and then you can really focus on the marketing and getting connected to the partners, um, you expecting and planning for a pretty big year next year? Absolutely. Yeah. It's been very cool. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Right. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. And uh, this is the real key thing around just... Um, setting your plan and do it with others you might know of if you want to, right? Like make it something which becomes a real um, celebration, celebration of this year, what you've achieved, what you want to achieve next year, uh, and know that with the help and support of others, you're never in a situation where you're doing it alone. So I hope this has been some inspiration for you setting up your 2016 for success. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing the results. You can go ahead and post them down below and we'll catch up with you on the next video.